I like these red seats that we have, red and black, very nice colors. And Dad likes the uniforms that the male flight attendants are wearing, kind of kung fu jackets. trying all the different modes of transportation. They've taken planes, taxis, GPs, FXs, but now we decided to rent a van and give this a try. My last trip here was when I was hiking to the game show. What game show did you work for? Well, I worked for Game Carnival on ABS-CBN. That was always fun, taping outside Vanilla. It is more work, but more fun. Travis is one of the national heroes. Lapu Lapu, he's the guy that killed Ferdinand Magellan when Magellan sailed to the Philippines. Oh, okay. So what happened was Magellan was trying to continue what Columbus started by sailing to Asia, by going the opposite okay. direction, and then he actually, he, so he's the first act, actually he's the first guy to man an expedition around the entire world. He didn't make it the entire way because when he discovered the Philippines, Lapu Lapu killed him. And, but then his guys got back on the ships and they sailed back to Spain. He's the first guy to go around the southern tip of South America. That's where they have the Strait of Magellan. Strait of Magellan. Because they had to find a passageway through there. I guess that was kind of difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. Uh, this is the, before the seawater, this is the place of the fight of Laplapu Magellan. Oh. And Magellan died on this spot there. So supposedly this is the exact spot that Magellan died and every time I fly to the Philippines, as long and painful of a flight as it is, I think, well, it's still a lot better than when Magellan had to sail over and how, di how much more difficult his was. So at least I'm thankful for that. So there they are having their big fight. You can see Magellan and Lapu Lapu and I think we know who won that one. And this is the man himself, Lapu Lapu, his famous statue here. Yeah, this I really like, this, this statue, that's the kind of thing that really appeals to me. I love that kind of stuff, that's the kind of art I like. Legaspi? I've read about him. He's the guy, he conquered uh, this island, then he went over and conquered Legaspi, then he went up and conquered Manila. Yeah, he, like, he, um, I think he established the, the, the yeah. Spanish government. Here's Ferdinand Magellan. Kind of telling the story of the founding of Cebu. This place is pretty cool. It's kind of like Intramuros up in Manila. If I had to compare it to anything, it's like it'd be about similar. Oh, they might She's be related. She's giving him money. What did she do? She they gave might him be money. Related. She gave him money. Did you see that? Yeah. Crazy. This place is called the Temple of Leia, and this is interesting. It looks like we're in Greece. Oh man. Why are they building this? Just a tourist it's attraction? A, it's a uh, shrine to the guy's wife. Look at this place. This is really awesome. This really is amazing. I'm, I'm glad we came. Build this without money. No matter how much love you got for somebody, you got to have some money coming in to do something like this. And even there, according to the write-ups, he's getting money from other people. 
you know, like what does one of them horses cost or one of them lions cost he's got up there? Yeah. Maybe when mom dies, someone can donate money and you can have a shrine like this to her. I got a better shrine, two sons. They're better than any temple, two sons. What a view. It doesn't even look like we're in the Philippines right now. I think this is something that a lot of people, even if they've been to Cebu, they haven't seen this before because it wasn't open to the public before. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me showing it to you. This is actually your first experience seeing this. Yeah, look, at, look at this little guy. What's he going to do with dance? Look at him. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I wonder where the parents are, but they were entertaining. Yeah, they were good. Where'd they get their gymnastics lessons? That one guy had no pants on. All he was wearing <laughs> was know. a t-shirt. It didn't seem to embarrass him any. Huh? No. Maybe this he's trying to earn enough money to buy some pants, huh? <laughs> What's the view look like, Dad? Said, yeah, there's a wall out there. Not much of a view. About, about four feet away, there's a wall. Doesn't matter. That's okay. What do you think of this room? It's fine with me. Yeah. I got the essentials. If you've got a bed, a bathroom, and a TV, what more? All I need now is food. <laughs> this, this is really excellent, though, for the price. For 1,500 pesos, this is a very good deal. I think it'd be hard to find something like this yeah. in Manila yeah. for this yes. rate. I actually like staying in all these different places, some of the small ones. It's, it's just as much of an adventure to stay in a small room sometimes as a big one and just experience the different levels, you know. I think this is a beautiful table they got there. I like this orange table. I get a kick out of spent. We sp spent less uh, tractor places and this. This is nice in uh, on our honeymoon. Remember some of the little <laughs> tinny walls? Yes. You know, and we enjoyed that too. We we enjoyed the fun of staying in those little dinky places. It was just part of the experience.